MySQL server database had CRC errors and CheckDB corruption with no good backups. <laughs> oh. Copy database wizard failed, so we finally scripted out the schema and data and imported it into a new database. Is there a better or safer way to recover in this situation? So, of course, every uh, thing with, uh, with corruption is different. My first concern would be if you were trying to recover on the same machine that was having the, the storage corruption to begin with. You know how you see in horror movies? Horror, H-O-R-R-O-R. -R -R. You see in, I don't know what kind of movies you watch, but I'm talking about horror movies here. In horror movies, you know, there's always, and it's always a white guy. The white guy is like, I heard that noise. I see a trail of blood. We should go investigate further. It's always a white dude. It just always is. It's never a woman. It's, it's never another ethnicity. It's always a white dude. And I'm not complaining because we probably are that stupid. But uh, yeah, get out of the house. Get out of that haunted house. Go somewhere else. If you're having corruption, it's either because there's a hardware storage problem or because there's a SQL server bug. So you want to get out of there as quickly as possible. So the first thing that I would have done is stop SQL Server, copy the data and log files somewhere else, and then begin your troubleshooting there and see if you can recover it from that point. Now, if you want to learn more about different techniques, because you also said, was that the only technique or are there other techniques? There are lots of techniques. Other techniques, the best way to learn about them, if, you have, if you're doing this for fun, is to go uh, Google for Steve Stedman, S-T-E-D-M-A-N, Steve Stedman Database Corruption Challenge. And it was, I don't know, eight or 10 weeks long. And every week he gave, gives you a different uh, corrupt database to go play with. Uh, and then shows it at, after that week, he shows the, here's the different ways that you, different readers try to recover data. I went through that, I had a ton of fun. and. I, I say this is like you learn it for curiosity, because if you think you're going to become a corruption expert, I'd first step back and say, why are you having so much corruption? You probably want to deal with that root cause. Um, and when you are under the gun for corruption, probably one of the first things that I would do would be to call uh, Microsoft or for that matter, Steve Stedman, because the guy specializes in database corruption repair. I don't know if it's the bulk of his business or not, but it's certainly not mine. I don't I don't do a lot of uh, database corruption repair. Because usually, I'm usually booked like several weeks in advance, and so nobody wants to wait several weeks to get their corruption repaired. Go figure.